If you find yourself liking this video, please give it a like, and make sure to share, subscribe, and click that bell. Goal to 200, let's go. It's been a while everyone, I'm Ryan X Thousand, and wow, Sonic Origins is coming out in two months from now, because right now it is April 26th and June 23rd, that's very close. Might have just got the release date wrong, but I know it's coming in June, so that's awesome. Uh, wow, the four core games that really define the classic era for Sonic, I can finally play on my PS4? What? Wow, I mean, just amazing. I've, I'm, I'm hyped for this. Despite, you know, months of almost no news whatsoever for this game, it's great to finally start seeing some more concrete stuff. And I want to show you guys this tweet from IGN, and we can go over it together real quick. And here the tweet says, Sonic Origins multiple editions are a bit confusing, and fans aren't happy with the amount of locked off content they hold. So yeah, already this is not sounding that promising, but let's actually see the real image that this tweet has. Bear with me guys, this definitely seems like a lot to cover, and I apologize if the image um, quality did not come out that great, but I'm gonna read it. So, the standard edition, which we can pre-order right now, includes the main game, and nothing else. Alright, and now we have the Start Dash Pack. It's free DLC, included with pre-order of Standard or Digital Deluxe. Alright, so we'll get 100 bonus coins, Mirror Mode will be unlocked, and we'll have the Letterbox Background. We have the Premium Fun Pack coming soon. It's going to include the Hard Missions, Letterbox Background, Character Animation in the Main Menu, Camera Controls over the Main Menu Islands, and the Character Animations during the Music Islands. Okay, I don't know why that's its own little addition or pack. To me that doesn't really make any sense. We have the Classic Music Pack, which I imagine that might be a free DLC thing. Additional music tracks from the Mega Drive and Genesis titles. And now we have the Digital Deluxe Edition, which is up for pre-order right now, I guess, according to the screenshot. It has the main game. It also has the hard missions. Character animation in the main menu. Camera controls over the main menu islands. Character animation during music islands and additional music tracks from Mega Drive Genesis titles. And in the Digital Deluxe Edition, we can see you do not get the 100 bonus coins, you do not get Mirror Mode, or the Letterbox Background. So even when you buy Digital Deluxe Edition, you're not getting everything still. And I don't know why a lot of these things are behind different editions. Why is that? Like character animations in the main menu? Why? Why is that behind a paywall? Camera controls over the main menu islands. Why can't all these just be basic features in the main game? This is supposed to be an anniversary game, mind you. And they're not even, like, giving us everything just to please us. I don't understand this. This is... What? And if you want to get absolutely everything, you have to do the Digital Deluxe Edition with the Start Dash Pack. Now, I hope... There's some last minute changes. Maybe, who knows, maybe what if they push back the release date just so they could rework all these additions and everything? Knowing me, of course, I would love to have the most out of Sonic Origins, but a lot of the stuff that I want to get the most out of this game, I shouldn't have to pay it for a certain edition for. A lot of these things should be main game. In fact, I bet you if Christian Whitehead was doing this, Actually, I don't even know if he's a part of this or not, but I know Christian Whitehead, he he made Sonic Mania. That that game was definitely a love letter for the game and everything, or for the Sonic franchise. I apologize for misspeaking. But I really think if he was doing this, we would have had all this just within one little package, one little game. No additions to get the extra stuff. I know Christian Whitehead, he probably would have done, you know what, here's everything for you guys in one game, which is what we want. That would be awesome. It would make the perfect anniversary game for, you know, to remember all the core classic titles. But yeah, this looks not... See, the game itself is, seems promising, but this business model, oh boy, it's not promising. This is something I feel like Ubisoft would do. Which, actually, I think someone in the Twitter comments of this post actually mentioned that it, this is like Ubisoft-level stuff. This is like Ubisoft, EA, hell, even like, I can imagine Mahoyo, you know, the developers of Genshin Impact, I can imagine them doing something like this, without a doubt. Uh, 
yeah, this is kind of crazy. Hopefully, things can change last minute. And if not, um, I don't feel like I have much of a choice. I mean, Standard Edition, you know, I can just buy Standard Edition, but... Dang, Sonic Origins? I want to get the- I kind of want to get the most out of that. Ah, the, the psychology that they're, that they're making me do right now is, yes, let me just get everything. This is really pushing me to get everything, but at the same time, that will mean that their business model is working. And I don't want that. Ugh, man. Well, two months from now, let's see what happens. Hopefully something changes. Anyway, guys, what do you think about Sonic Origins? you guys hype for it? What do you guys think about this business model thing? And if you actually aren't supportive of this um, model for how they're releasing their editions, uh, let me know why. Let me know why you think this is a, actually a, an okay idea. I would like to discuss that. Uh, you know, down in the comments and everything. If you guys keep track, I do love to talk to people in the comments and everything. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And also, uh, support my gaming channel. I have some Elden Ring gameplay right now up on that channel, so please support that channel as well. And for that channel, Gold to 100. And for this channel, Gold to 200. And stay awesome.